Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace, and today we're going to do a couple really small uh, customizations to our brand new ghost uh, multi author community blog. So, as I promised in our private community, uh, I would document all the steps that we're using to grow all the various elements, the pieces and parts of our platform. And I'm really excited about the ghost uh, multi-author uh, blogging platform that we're building. We're going to be doing a whole series of invites, uh, email marketing, uh, email outreach, I should say, uh, to folks in the mindfulness and the coaching and helping and healing industries, asking them to participate in our new community. So I'm going to document that as well. But the first thing that I want to show you are some really simple tweaks that you can use to actually customize Ghost. So many of you I know are quite familiar with WordPress or maybe even something like Shopify or another, you know, kind of e-commerce or blog uh, CMS. But Ghost has some really... <laughs> I was cough there. There was a kind of like a squeaky halt to my attempt not to cough. Ghost has some really uh, unique advantages that some of these other uh, platforms don't. And I'm going to show you, especially as it pertains to uh, building a multi-author community blog, why I believe that Ghost makes this decision super easy and um, you know super friction free. All right, so. As promised, we're going to look at first installing a uh, premium theme. Now, I already have installed one that we're actually going to use, but I do want to show you exactly how uh, to customize your own Ghost install from Jump, right? So this is the default Casper uh, theme that comes with Ghost. I believe this is the default theme. I actually have already uh, added a premium theme from Theme Forest that we're going to be using on this particular community simply because it's so good for multi-author or it's so optimized for multi-author communities but i'm going to show you the process again of actually just uploading a theme it's not all that different from wordpress um, but it's cleaner it's easier and it's much more elegant in my view so you can actually just drag a file here in this case i'm just going to find it in the appropriate spot which is of course not where i expected it to be let's see if i can find it it's in this cluster fuck of a folder there it is as you can tell organization ain't my strong suit all right so we've uploaded that and now we're going to activate it and you'll see how the appearance has changed already All right, and this is simply a, a community blog with various mindfulness-oriented techniques where we're going to be soliciting folks in our community to share um, you know, their favorite mindfulness practices or self-care practices as we deal with this ongoing, evolving, never-ending shitstorm that I think as a species we're all going through together. All right, so let's go back to design. And now I'm going to pick the uh, premium theme that we are going to be using. And I'm going to activate that so you can see, again, how that affects the aesthetic of the site. And you'll see that it does quite a bit. All right, so this is, again, the simple change of theme completely transforms the look and feel of this particular uh, site. Now. I'm going to show you something that's pretty theme specific, but it's why we want to use this theme for a multi uh, community or a multi author blog because it has a really prominent search functionality that allows you to search by author. So if we have, uh, let's say, 25, 30 authors in a month or two, this will all be searchable from the very prominent, um, you know, sliding kind of. Um, form here, that, for lack of the appropriate word, that appears. It's really optimized for this on mobile, and 
it really adds a level of you know prominence to the multi-author multi-vendor piece of our platform that we're really hoping to uh, promote you know on this new piece of our mindful marketplace community all right so i want to show you some other little things that you can do that are just little tweaks that can add a little bit of aesthetic appeal or um I stifled another cough there. It's no fun to be stifling coughs in the COVID era. I find that for whatever reason, whenever I'm recording these videos, I have this incredible urge to cough. All right, so here are um, here's something that I put into the site footer. So you probably saw that button at the bottom that said either join our community or something. Oh, it actually does say join our community. And it has a link where we have a private uh, members only uh, community that's being run on Circle and which is like a little social network. And that code I put into the footer here. You can put tracking scripts into your a code or into your ghost blog as well but I'll show you really quickly here's some code that I got from the developer of uh, one of the themes that I really like and I saw this on his installation and I just asked him to send it to me and he was nice enough to do that so in the site footer you can have a really prominent call to action in this case it would be promoting this dude's theme, which we don't want to do, we would change this. So I'll show you really quickly what that looks like. So as you'll see here in the bottom, it says buy Penang for $99. This is the, um, you know, the theme that I bought and had this really nice kind of sticky footer, as you can see. Uh, actually, maybe you can't see, but there it is. It looks really good on mobile. And it's really going to allow us to sell a, you know, a prominent kind of call to action on our site that's global, that's site-wide, to our audience down the road. So I can approach somebody once this community is getting the traffic that I hope it gets, and I can say to somebody, hey, you know, uh, what are you promoting? Do you have an event? Do you have a book launch? Do you have a product to sell? Uh, do you have something that you want to promote to our audience? We're getting X amount of traffic on a daily basis, and, you know, this button costs whatever, $50 a day, $20 a day, $100 a day, whatever it may be, to promote their thing, you know, for a given period of time. All right, so that's how you would do that there. You could, of course, change the text here by Ian's book for 19. Save that, and then you'll see that button is going to have a new call to action. Oh, and it's gone. Is it there? What happened? Maybe I didn't save it. Let's go back and check. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the original code, which is here. I'm going to paste that in again, because I think I might have added too much or too little. I'm not sure. This ain't my strong suit. And there it is again. The original text, of course, buy this theme for $79, and it'll link to his uh, his theme on Gumroad. All right, so where were we? Let's go back. Other things that you can do within just little customizations, again, uh, theme you know, style, you know, adding little buttons and scripts. You can do all that in code injection. I would put the 
tracking links or tracking scripts in here as well. You can invite members. All this we're going to cover uh, in some other videos, or you can invite staff, I should say. Uh, members are the folks who sign up for your blog, for your membership. Again, if you look at Ghost, you'll see that it has this, or the newest version of Ghost, has this really slick Stripe-enabled membership, um, you know, kind of gated content, um, you know, built in. So you can restrict content, you can charge folks for access to posts, you can charge them for access to your newsletter. All these things can be done through this, you know, really nice, again, this is styled uh, for this particular theme, but all this can be done through your, um, you know, through just your, your ghost blog. No more need for external scripts or, or membership plugins or anything like that. It's all done through Ghost, which makes Ghost really uniquely suited for one of these sorts of sites. All right, I'm getting a little too far afield. This is not the sort of stuff I wanted to cover in this particular video, but um, here is where all that is done. The, the, the members, here's where you connect your Stripe account so you can get paid. Here's where you change the pricing model. Here's where you can, you know, allow folks to sign up for free. You know, here's the default post access, which in this case is public. You could change that to members only or paid members only, et cetera, et cetera. All this stuff is done through the back end of Ghost. And again, I'm certainly no, you know, Ghost, um, you know, pro. I'm not even close to a Ghost pro, but it's so easy to use and so optimized for these sorts of sites that I really think it's a great idea for those of you building communities to consider Ghost as an alternative to WordPress. But I'm going to document everything we're doing anyway, so you'll get a chance to see uh, how that looks on our community in the months to fall. Today is the 8th of October, and I think I just actually installed this yesterday, the 7th of October, 2020, so you can see how quickly this is going to grow in the weeks to come. All right, if you haven't already signed up for our private community, you can join uh, our course community, you can join the link below. If you have any questions about Ghost that I'm able to answer, uh, simply you know pop those into the comments below and I'll do my best. Okie doke, thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.